Hello everyone, welcome. I am going to be doing a demonstration on how to start and finish the autumn berry pattern for the dishcloth or hand towel set. Here is an example of a finished dishcloth. The sequence in the pattern will work up the same for both the dishcloth and the hand towel. The hand towel will simply have more rows and be a little bit wider than the dishcloth pattern itself. The brand of yarn that I use for this pattern is Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton. This is Ecru and this is Amber. You can of course use any brand of cotton yarn that you prefer in a medium weight four ply. You will also need an H hook for this pattern. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to begin, we're going to make a slip knot and chain 30. Okay, once you have 30 chains in your foundation chain row, in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet. And we're going to continue to single crochet in every chain stitch to the end of the row. By the time we get to the end of our foundation chain row, we will have made 29 single crochets. We are approaching the end of our foundation chain row, so let's make one single crochet in the final chain here. And then we are going to chain one to turn. Row two will be another row of single crochets. So let's go ahead and make a single crochet in each stitch to the end of this row. Okay, we're coming to the last single crochets of row two, and we're going to chain one to turn. Row three will begin our berry stitch rows, and the odd rows of this pattern, with the exception of the last two rows, will have berry stitch sequence in them. So in the first two stitches, we're going to place one single crochet. One single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch. Now we're going to make a berry stitch. So to make a berry stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the first loop on the hook. You're left with three loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into the same stitch, and pull up a loop. You'll now have five loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all five, and you've created a berry stitch. So now let's place one single crochet into the next two stitches and berry stitch into the next. So let's do that again. Yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and go only under the first loop, yarn over, insert back into the same stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through all five. One single crochet into the next two stitches. And that sequence will repeat and you will end with one single crochet into the last two stitches of the row. So let's go ahead and continue that sequence to the end of this row. Okay, we are coming to the end of the row here. So here's our final berry stitch of row three, and then we're going to place one single crochet into the last two stitches of the row. We're going to chain one to turn. You can see our row of berry stitches has started. So your even rows will simply be single crochet rows. So you're going to place one single crochet in each stitch to the end. And your odd rows will have the berry sequence. Go ahead and complete that for the body of your dishcloth. We can meet back here for the final two rows of single crochets. And then I will demonstrate how to begin the border. Okay, we are coming to the end of the last row of the dishcloth pattern, which is row 33. And even though it is an odd row, we are just single crocheting across since it's the last row of the pattern. You can see the back side is facing us, which is what you want when you begin your border so that when we're complete, the border will be correct on the, the front side. And you can see the front side of the dishcloth here, and we have all of our little 
berry stitches on the front side. So at the end of round 33, we're going to chain one and we're going to begin our border. So to begin our border, we're gonna turn our work here. So we're gonna start by working down the side and we're going to place one single crochet down, down the side and all the way around. When you get to the corners, you're going to place three single crochets into each corner. So we're just gonna place a single crochet here at the end of every row to begin our border. Okay, we're getting to the end here of our first side. So into this last stitch here, I'm going to place three single crochets to create the corner. And then I'm going to turn my work and continue working down the side in single crochets. And we're going to repeat that process all the way around. So single crochets across, three in the corner. Let's meet back when we've worked all the way around and then we will begin our final round of the border. Okay, here we are coming to the end of our first round. There's three in this corner. And here's my first single crochet that I made. So I'm going to slip stitch into that one and I'm going to chain one. In the next stitch, I'm going to slip stitch for round two. In all in the next stitch, I'm going to place a single crochet half double crochet and a single crochet all into the same stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we'll begin that sequence over again. So slip stitch into the next stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, all in the same stitch. Slip stitch into the next. And we're just, and you can see it starts to make this little scalloped edge. And we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around the dishcloth until we have finished. This border is very forgiving. So at the end, if it doesn't end perfectly, you're simply going to take away a slip stitch um, if needed to finish it off. So let's go ahead and continue to work around. And then we'll meet back here in the last few stitches of our border. Here we are coming, coming to the end. So I'm gonna slip stitch, slip stitch here. Make our little scallop. And I'm gonna finish by slip stitching into this last stitch here and fasten off, leaving a tail of yarn for weaving in. I'm going to turn it over here so you can see. Kind of have to maneuver a little bit, but there is your scalloped edge on your washcloth. Go ahead and weave in your ends, and you are all done with your autumn berry dishcloth.